UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya posted a video on his Twitter account this evening suggesting that Dracus Duplessis will not be ready in time to fight him at UFC 293 in Sydney. And instead, we could be seeing a fight with him and Sean Strickland. So Adesanya suggesting that there's a foot injury for Dracus. Strickland may be the next man up. Uh, I can't play the whole video because Adesanya swears and he says the N word. That's the type of stuff that's going to get me demonetized on YouTube. But I will just play the one part where he does talk about Strickland because that I can use. It's uh, not going to get me in any trouble. Strickland, you're in. Let's do the man dance. There you go. So uh, I know not not very long here, but uh, yeah, Adesanya basically uh, saying a bunch of bad stuff about Dracus Duplessis. No shocker there with everything we've seen over the last uh, couple weeks there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate because Dracus had an amazing performance. Uh, he absolutely deserves the next title shot. Um, but I also understand his point of view if he's not ready to go. Again, this is not 100% confirmed yet. This is just what Adesanya is saying. We've learned everything over the, you know, anything over this last week and a bit. It's that you got to wait until the UFC or any major outlet announces something. Just because Israel says something doesn't necessarily mean that's the case here, even though he is the champion. But uh, it does certainly suggest that Sean Strickland's up. And if you guys remember, I did a video on this channel a few weeks ago uh, talking about, uh, where is it here? This one here. The UFC may book this next, and, and that's what I was suggesting, Sean Strickland and Adesanya. Now, this video was actually recorded before Drake is defeating Robert Whitaker, but I said prior to that, I think that was Sean Strickland's got to be the next man up. Now, I know there'll be a lot of pushback on this with people saying, well, wait a second, James. Jared Cannonier defeated Sean Strickland uh, a couple fights ago. Why would he not get the nod? Well, there's two reasons for that. Number one, Jared Cannonier, as great as he is, he's getting up there in age. He's not exactly the most appealing fighter, not the greatest fighter on the mic, so to speak. Strickland is. Whether you like him or not, people are talking about Sean Strickland. There is a lot of interest in that. I cover a lot of that in the video. I suggest you go watch it. Uh, I did that video, like I said, like two weeks ago. But Sean Strickland, he's getting people's attention. Unfortunately, with Jared, you're not really seeing that. And then the other thing is, they already fought. They fought last July. Not last July, the July before. July 2022, uh, Adesanya and Cannonier fought in a fight that a lot of fans didn't like. So I don't think the UFC is rushing to put that rematch together. And, you know, I talked about this in the video I just posted with Islam and Charles Oliveira. Like they're doing too many events and they kind of pin themselves in a corner here. Uh, they booked this card for Sydney. They booked, they basically said that Adesanya was going to headline the card even before Dracus and Whitaker and all these other things. So they're kind of forced to do a fight like this when, again, if they had spaced things out a little bit, if there was more fighters available, maybe if Dracus doesn't fight Whitaker, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess he had to fight Whitaker to get the shot, but you, you understand what I'm saying here. Like, I, I kind of understand it if Dracus is not ready to go because he has been fairly active over the last little bit in terms of his fights. So again, we'll wait to hear what the UFC or any of the major outlets say about Dracus and what the extent is of what he's dealing with right now. But if it is Sean Strickland, I'm all for this. Like I said, I think the fight makes a lot of sense. If you go back to UFC 276, the press conference they had back in July of 2022, Adesanya was fighting Jared Cannonier. Strickland was fighting Alex Pereira. They stole the press conference, the back and forth between the two of them. And Strickland actually, I mean, again, you might not be a big Strickland fan here, but he had some good one liners for Adesanya. And I think that right there is the promo you need. And we've also heard Strickland talk about Adesanya as well. Uh, all, all types of stuff. I even have a couple clips on here on my channel when I interviewed Strickland recently uh, talking about uh, where is it here? There's one with him and Izzy here. There we go. Just saying that he doesn't like Adesanya. Right. So there is that sort of that built in storyline as well. And I know people are going to say, James, this isn't pro wrestling, but there needs to be interest in a fight here. And as much as Dracus and Adesanya had a lot of build up there as well. I think with Strickland, you're going to get a very good buildup on this too. Not to mention the fact that the way things were going with Drake as an Adesanya with some of the racial stuff that was going on, and we don't need to get into that in this video, it might not end up so well for the UFC. Maybe this is the best thing for the UFC is doing this fight later. What I think, if, if Drake is, can't go for UFC 293 and Strickland's available, it sounds like Strickland is. I talked to him about two weeks ago. Seems like he's ready to take this fight. My suggestion would be giving Dracus the winner of that fight. I don't think Dracus should have to fight anyone else. Nobody has done that to Robert Whitaker in the middleweight division outside of Israel Adesanya. Dracus absolutely should be next in line. I don't think there's any question about that. Whether he's injured or not, it shouldn't be like a Benil Darius situation. Like he, she should be getting the next title shot. So that that's the first thing I want to point out here. I think Dracus absolutely deserves it. But if he's not ready to go, give him give him a chance. We know Sean Strickland will fight anyone anytime. He fought a guy in Abu Magomedov where he had no upside in, in fighting him um, at all, really, in terms of the ranking and he finished him. It actually worked out quite well for Strickland, but going into it, there was a lot of risk in that fight because Abus was knocking guys out. You know, you never know. Maybe Strickland loses that fight. We, we don't be in the situation here, but he's got two good wins over two prospects. Strickland himself says he's got a you know strong case for this fight. And look, I've seen people already talk about this uh, fight in terms of the result, saying that Strickland's going to get destroyed. I don't know, people. Seriously, like Sean Strickland, whether you like him or hate him, you got to give him a little bit of credit here. He's 
landing a lot in his fights. Even the Cannoneer fight, I think he actually outlanded him in that matchup. Um, he, he's not a guy that gets finished easily. People always point out the Pereira loss. In fact, this was a narrative going into that boost fight. Sean Strickland doesn't have a good chin. Yeah, he does. He has a good chin. He's fought Jared Cannonier. Cannonier's got knockout power. He had the one loss to Pereira, but Sean Strickland basically fought Alex Pereira the worst way you could fight him, which was like, yeah, let's go, you know, shot for shot. And Pereira, we know, has the better shot. He knocks him out. We saw Pereira knock out Israel Adesanya as well. So I think it's a much more interesting fight as far as a pick. Obviously, I'm going to go Israel Adesanya. I do think he's more skilled, but I wouldn't count Sean Strickland out completely in this fight. Let's do a quick tale of the tape between the two. Again, not officially booked, but let's assume this does come to fruition. What Adesanya is saying is true. Strickland's 32. He's six foot one with a 76 inch reach. Israel Adesanya is 33. So actually when's his birthday? So he just turned 33. Strickland is, yeah, turned 30. Uh, uh, Strickland, so about a year, year uh, age gap here. Uh, so he's got an 80 inch reach, six foot four, six foot one to 76. So uh, Adesanya can have a decent height and reach advantage in this fight, but We'll see. Again, Sean Strickland, one of these guys that, uh, you know, doesn't do anything like Strickland doesn't really excel in one particular area. He's almost like a better version of Marvin Vittori in the sense that like Strickland is well-rounded, but he doesn't really excel in any particular area. He's just a guy that can seem to get it done. And uh, yeah, I, I think this is the, you know, again, if this is the option for the UFC right now, I would prefer this over a Jared Cannonier fight if, in fact, Dracus is out. Now, again, if we're going by merit, obviously, Jared Cannonier deserves the fight. He's getting up there in age. This might be the last opportunity of him getting a title. However, um, you know, I, I think with Strickland, like, get, he might not be in this position again. Take advantage of the fact that people are interested in Strickland. Like I said, whether you love him or hate him, you know, um, you look at the fact that he was just on Joe Rogan's podcast. You know, a lot of people are interested in that. A lot of his, his podcasts. If you look at the numbers and the podcast he does with Chris Curtis, the numbers are great. They've only done a couple episodes. Like there is interest in Sean Strickland. And just remember, they're going to Sydney. They obviously want like a good main event, a fight that's really going to sell. The Drakus fight would have done that. But I think with Strickland, this is a great second option here. So we'll have to see what happens. Again, nothing completely official here. And if this fight does end up being official, I will do an early look preview on this one. But I, I think this is a great second option. And again, if the UFC is smart here, uh, they are doing some sort of press conference to maybe not a tour, but do a couple press conference buildups before that, because you're going to get a lot of good sound bites here. I know Strickland's not everyone's cup of tea, but he does have some good one liners like him making fun of Adesanya for watching anime and all this different stuff like that's the type of stuff that gets people interested. Those are the sound bites that gets people intrigued in a fight. And you're just not going to get that with Jared Cannon, unfortunately. So I think with Strickland, there's a much more uh, interest in, in the fight uh, just in terms of the buildup. And with Adesanya, you know, maybe this will bring the best out of Adesanya. We saw Adesanya, I think, go to another level when he had this foe in Pereira. Maybe you get the same thing here with Strickland. And like I said, you don't have to deal with all this racial stuff that was going on with the Drakus and Adesanya fight. Maybe we do that down the line. But I think things were so heated after Drakus' fight. This is probably better for everyone that things cool off a bit and then give Dracus the winner. And I don't know when that'll be, but we'll, we'll have to see what, what is actually going on with Dracus at this point. Um, we're all talking hypothetical. I got to say it for like a fourth time in here. Nothing is official, but we can certainly discuss the possibility of Sean Strickland and Israel Adesanya. And I'm just kind of throwing my hat out there saying I'm a fan of this fight if it does end up happening as a second option if Dracus Duplicy is not ready to go. So I'm going to know what you guys think in the comment section below. First off, if Dracus is out, is this the next best option? Number two, what's your early pick for this fight? And I don't just want to hear I'm picking this guy. I want to hear how you think they win. I get that a lot. People saying, oh, this guy's going to win. Well, tell me how they're going to win. And number three, like, what do you think would happen with Dracus? I'm of the belief that he should still get the title shot. Just do it a bit later. Maybe like a Bilal Muhammad situation, that type of thing. Um, so that, that's kind of where I'm going with here. So uh, again, follow me, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, at Lynch on Sports. Appreciate your support. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I'll talk to you guys soon.